morning guys as you can hear i really don't have a voice i'm about to drink some tea and hopefully my voice starts to come back it's my birthday <laughs> happy birthday to me i'm 36 today happy birthday tina what a way to start the birthday with no voice i'm trying to get the light in but it's too early but yeah happy birthday to me sick with no voice got a nice outfit playing today and i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna work today the hardest i can and all week with no voice um my lift nodes are really really swollen my lift nodes i'm really tired of it though even though I act calm about what's going on with my with my my um throat and stuff, I'm tired of not being able to talk right. <laughs> I can't take the pain of my throat anymore. So the doctor said to go to the ER um, so they can take a look to make sure it ain't strep or nothing. Uh, and they can get me steroids from there. So we'll see what happens because my throat is like, I've had enough. Like it's at the point where it's so weak. I just, I can't take any more pain. And I missed out on a lot of sales today, a lot of money today. I mean, I went to work for a little bit, but my throat has been so bad I can't even really talk. So, it is what it is. What well, it's not, it'll never be. All right guys, so, I hate talking at this point. But I'm on my way home. Uh, my mom has a surprise for me at the house. Um, who is that? I don't even know. But yeah, I'm on my way home. They put me on steroids. They took me off work for the next two days so I can rest my voice and get the steroids a chance to start working. But y'all know me. I, I can't just uh -uh, I can't just sit there and not work. So it hurts to swallow. So I'm going to work anyway. I'm just gonna work from home for those two days and give the medicine a chance to kick in and just take it light on my voice. Cause I can't yell at no kids. I can't scream about none. I just gotta be quiet. And that's hard for me to do. Really hard to just be quiet. But my voice is going down to where it's even turning into a whisper just so I don't strain it. That's when I start getting my job like and making buku dollars. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. But I should have been handling this stuff on my voice. Because it's been going on for a month. I just kept praying that it would get better. And it just never made it. It's turned around. It never made it. Are you ready? Justin, I need my computer. I gotta work. Justin, no extra brains. Use the brains. Huh? I got a brain for you. I got you a card. Thank you. Okay. In a box. And I 
I got you a body watch. I got you a card that says happy birthday, mommy. Where's the other, when, it, when, it's, when we say happy birthday, you get open it. Oh, that's for her flowers. Okay, guys, I just left the dentist um, after getting my fills. I sound terrible. So I'm hoping within the hour that it will subside because I have to work. I'm working from home today, but hopefully it will subside. When all this subsides, I can start work. Um, I really feel like I'm letting my job down this this week and for the next couple weeks because next week Christian has surgery. The week after that, I have to come back and get a crown. And I just feel like I'm not 100% and I can't give everybody 100%. And I hate when I can't give everybody 100% of me. But at the same time, I have to take care of myself. And I haven't been taking care of myself in like three months. Because I've been giving everything to my job. Like I haven't been able to take care of my throat. I ain't been able to take care of nothing. So I want to do what I can this week. I'm going to give 110% that I can give. But at the same time, I have to think about myself. And of course, hopefully within the hour, my voice will go back to normal. I will swollen L O a harder talk. But anyway, I got to go pick up my steroids because I start my steroids today. So I have to be very careful about what I eat because I'm going to be on these steroids and I'm not trying to gain any weight. I ain't been losing no weight, but I ain't been gaining no weight. Actually, no, I lost a couple pounds last week. I think me being more happy, um, I actually been losing weight, like just because I'm more happy and I'm actually enjoying being more happy. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am a lot more happy now. Yeah, I'm, I'm more happy. So anyway, let me get off here because I probably sound like a fool. And I'll talk to you later. So, y'all, yeah, I had a little bit of an emergency, so I can't even finish getting my nails done. I'm kind of hot about it, but this is what it's going to look like. Uh, of course, don't mind the whiteness and all that. It's going to be finished tomorrow. I'm going to go there when they open tomorrow morning. I'm going to get my nails finished. But uh, they look pretty good uh, from what you guys can see. You'll see the rest of them when they're, when they're slayed and finished. But, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Uh, but somebody, go, my buddy going to go to uh, dang on Jack and the, I call it Jack and the Crack. He went to Jack and the Crack and we was on the phone. And I was like, oh, that's so good. Jack and the Crack. But it's called Jack and the Box. Y'all know that. But I just call it Jack and the Crack. Um, so I was like, let me go ahead and go down to the little Jack and the Crack. So that's where I'm going right now. And I have to be very careful with my food because you know how it go with these steroids. They give you an appetite you never knew you even had. So I'm like, girl, you know you don't need to be a Jack and the Crack. But I'm going to go because I haven't eaten today. So I'm like, hey. Is my calories there? My voice is already starting to feel a lot better. And I'm only on my second dosage because you... Um, I believe I showed you the pills at first. If not, I'll show you guys when I get there. But the first day you take six pills. And each day it tapers down from that. So the first day is six pills. So I have to take six pills today. Um, I've already took four and I'm already sounding a lot better. I'm so happy about that. Like a lot of that in my voice is starting to go away. And a lot of y'all were really concerned about my neighbor. And like, trust me, I feel what you're saying because... That was the most awkward thing. It's like, dude, it's okay to have a crush on somebody or whatever you call it, but why are you always around? Like, and why you just want to chill and stop and talk? Like, I don't like you. I don't like you. And yeah, buddy, it was like, don't don't make me come back up there, cause like the way it used to go, it used to go back and forth, like between us two. But now it's just me. I go down there. It's cause I be wanting to break from my city, and I don't be wanting to be in my city. Like, I just don't want to be in my city. So, I find it more interesting to go down there. So, I'd rather do that. Plus, less chances of running into my baby father. You know what I mean? So, I don't want to run into him. Even though he doesn't mind running into me. 
I mind running into him. Like, I just, mm, I don't know. That's a weird altercation I'm not ready to, like, even go through right now. And I don't know. I think that's another reason why I just don't take people serious is because I don't want to have to deal with, oh, man, if I fall in love and I want to get married and then I got to explain it. Like, I feel like, oh, I got this over my shoulder. Like, my baby daddy. Like, I don't know. And, dude, you are speeding. It is 35 over here, and you just, okay, take off, you know? But I don't know. Anybody feel that way? Like, when you're back in the dating arena, and it's just, like, it's awkward how your kid's father would feel about it. Like, I mean, he knows I'm in the dating thing. Like, he knows I date. Like, I mean, come on. Look at me. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but he knows I date. <clears throat> He's just never seen me on the why are you in my business? I should never say that out loud to Christian. <laughs> but he, he, you know, I do a little razzle dazzle in the day in the morning. Little kids to sleep a little bit early because they've been having a rough couple days at school and be, not being on schedule. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that they're up too late at night. They are staying up to like 8.30. Ooh, okay. They're staying up to 8.30 or so. And that's just too late at night for them. So I put them to bed at 7.30, the time they're supposed to be going to sleep. So I wanted to show y'all my packages that came from Macari. Like these came from Macari like weeks and weeks ago. Like, but I haven't unboxed them or anything. So let's unbox them together. First thing is a candle. It's a Bath and Body Works candle that I ordered in the stars. It looks just like that because I really like in the stars. It smells really good. And I needed a backup. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, so I got an in the stars backup because this joint is lit. Um, I also got a cup that I couldn't find this cup anywhere. So I ordered it off Macari. It was like, forget it. So I got the Starbucks cup. Look at it. It's so pretty. And this was, I guess, the one that was so hard to find. Um, and it's that bronzy color one. So I got the bronzy color one as well. I kind of want to hold off into the morning to film my birthday presents. But I kind of just want to do it because my birthday is over. And I just never had time to record the little cutesy wootsy video to show. Ooh, opening a wallet. Ooh, opening, opening, opening look. Oh, opening look. Uh. Maybe I could just do it with this light. We'll see. But anyway, let me show you guys my birthday presents that I got. So as y'all seen yesterday, I got two gift cards from my mom. One was for $25 to Bath and Body Works. One was $25 to um, Victoria's Secret. So, ow, I'm excited about that. And these are the two gifts I got for myself for my birthday. I ordered um, a, a Marc Jacobs bag, but it got canceled because they ran out. And I think that was a sign from God because it was another bag that I really wanted. So probably I just need to wait. But yeah, so this is my Louis Vuitton and my Chanel that came. Um, I actually ran out of my favorite Chanel perfume. So that's what's in here. And I bought it for my birthday two years ago. So now I was able to finally get it again for my birthday. So boom, boom, boom. Boom, and then these are like the samples that they give you, and then we have okay, the perfume, the Chanel, and this is the Chanel beige. This is my favorite Chanel perfume, period. Like, this is my favorite. Um, it is very costly, but it's good, and you smell like money, like, that's what you smell like every time you wear this money, straight cash, like, boss be cash like that's what you smell like oh y'all if you don't got this like try chanel beige Ooh, and i love the magnetic top like the magnetic follows it if you haven't tried chanel beige you need to I'm telling you she is that girl like chanel beige is that girl and then i got my louis vuitton okay so i think that's why i'm about to just record this quick unboxing and i'll just do a little voiceover for y'all for it um of my Louis V item that I've really been wanting so I can just have it's a wallet just so y'all know 
I'm just gonna tell y'all. It's a wallet. It's just one of the basic wallets. I had the one of the high new brand new wallets in my car, and some said, Tina, you don't need to get that wallet. Like that was a thousand dollar wallet. Why are you gonna spend a thousand dollars on a wallet? Like just get the base model that's like six hundred. Like you don't have to spend a thousand. And I was like, yeah, because I want something that's full season all around. And this one just was like, yeah, this is gonna do what I need to do because all my credit cards is everywhere. Like I'm searching for one of my cards now, and I'm like, where is it? I can't find it. And I just need something that's gonna hold everything in one place. So that's what this is. So let's cue the TikTok footage. So yeah, that's the unboxing of everything. And this is the new wallet. Super pretty. It holds, I think, like up to 10 cards or something. It's for money, coins, all that. And I like it. This is my new bed. It is a lot sm It's the same size because it's both king size. So it's the same size bed. But it looks smaller because it's not that big old headboard. So it's a smaller headboard. So it takes up way less space. Like way less space because it's a smaller headboard. I think this is fine for now. And then when I get a bigger place, um, I'm going to make this Grace's bed. And give her the king mattress and all that. And then get something bigger. But I just want it white. I don't know. For some reason, I just want it white for now. And I just thought this would go so nice with the pictures and everything like that. So I went with this. And it was actually less expensive than the original I already had on the bed. But yeah, it's really nice. So... Thank you. Come on. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, you can't actually get on it. It's just a cardboard display. All right, pick your snack. Wednesday already oh goodness my week is going so bad at work y'all I forgot what day it is because Monday I only had one sale like one sale and that's because y'all know my ER and all that but yeah it's been a crazy week I'm at the um Chick-fil-a because I'm gonna grab me some breakfast and a fruit bowl to munch out on for today because I'm gonna kind of be working remotely and on the go today so yeah i got my victoria secret order it came in so i'm gonna do it like a little haul for you guys because man i had like they gave me a birthday gift of 25 dollars, so i used the 25 dollar birthday gift um they had panties on sale like a really good deal i got a really good deal on panties and i got this little bra it was really cute so I'm like ooh, so i can't wait to show y'all the name is Tina. Uh, can I get a number one um, with American cheese? Uh, Dr. Pepper. Can I get a large fruit cup? Sorry, one more time. A large fruit cup. Got the large fruit cup. What else can you get? Uh, that's it. Any comments that I'll go with? Any what? Oh, I'm sorry. Honey and... Yeah, that's it, honey. All right. So I'll check out the honey in there. I got that large food cup, the chicken biscuit, the cheese, hash brown, just a medium diet Dr. Pepper today, right? How much is it to make it a large diet Dr. Pepper? Gotcha. So you're all set. The total today is going to be $12.97 as well. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. $12.97. I knew it was because that's what I spent last time. Y'all, let me stop acting like I'm balling when I'm falling, okay? But that's gonna last me all day. That's why I got the fruit cup. So I can be eating on that all day. I got my fruit cup. I got my big water. Where's my wallet? Y'all, I got this big old behind wallet and now I still can't keep up with this wallet. 
big old behind wallet can't keep up with it like because i keep forgetting to put it back in the purse like come on tina but i'm really liking it i put all my stuff in it so everything is fitting i still gotta find my one credit card like i have one credit card that needs to be reordered and then i got one credit card i don't know where it's at um so i need to find it but yeah no two credit cards because my sax fifth card i don't know where my sax fifth card is either i had to find out where my sax fifth card is and my dac my dac who that you card is those two cards are in my a right now so i need to find those but yeah that's how everything is fitting inside of the wallet like ow and then you can put your little change in there and then i got some cards and stuff back here too my flex bin you know gift cards and i keep my coupons right here so it's a nice size wallet it does everything i needed to do very versatile very pretty and it matches my key ring thing where's my key yeah so it matches the key ring so that's why i got it even though my purse you know is the darker one i mean i just got the darker purse because that purse be getting swing flown just put down anywhere like so i wanted a darker color because if i got this print in a purse nah. <laughs> not the way i live my life it wasn't gonna work it, it it wasn't gonna work and i still got my gift cards for my mom i gotta use my gift cards because i got my bath and body works and my victoria's secret gift card like so i'm thinking today i might make me a little trip nah i'm gonna say that for the weekend i'm gonna say these gift cards for the weekend because buddy is um off on saturday yay so saturday i'm gonna work a short shift i'm already gonna tell my boss like because mm -mm, i'm resting my voice and i'm gonna spend more time with buddy because he doesn't work on saturday he was able to get this saturday off so i'm super excited about that like he told me today um that he's off and a lot of people was like is that your man is that your man <sighs> we we don't have a title we don't talk to anybody else, but we haven't solidified anything. Like, I know it's so weird because we spend all our time together and we talk every day, but we haven't said, hey, we doing this thing right now. We haven't said that. We just, I don't know. I don't know. But let me get my food. I'll talk to you in a minute. Right, y'all so my nails are done Ooh, ow they fancy ow i like i like i like they came out really pretty so i thought this is like a nice little spring nail to do so yeah i got those nails they're shorter they're going to get longer as we go i need to go get my car wash but i have to do that after i get off because right now i'm on my lunch break but i forgot one of the kids phones so i have to drop it back by the house really quick and then skedaddle back into work but first um i need to get gas because i'm all eat and that ain't full enough so i'll catch up with y'all in a minute y'all this is how grace be going to school <laughs> she's a superstar go ahead do your dance on them 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 grace ain't playing she ain't playing grace ain't playing it ain't playing go go shake it out something Shake something, take shake, shake, shake something. Ain't light something, it's a light something. She gon' 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 shake something, something. Go, break it down, Grace. Break it down. Break it down, Grace. Break it down. Hey, break it down, Grace. Break it down. Hey, break it down. That's what I'm talking about. Grace looking fresh, fresh. Splits now. She done did the splits, y'all. That's a little too grown. That's enough, that's enough. Three minutes, three minutes on the clock. Three minutes, three minutes, don't stop. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Feel like a million dollars or a $2 bill? $2. Woo, <laughs> it's hard work, ain't it? Yeah. All right. All right. You're taller, so you got to move the seat back some. So, what are we going to do? You can do this for a few minutes. Put your feet up here. Feet go here. What is it supposed to be? Put your feet up. I'm about to show you. Put your feet up. Oh, you like here. Oh, sorry. All right, now push your legs out. 
Okay. Yeah, push your legs out. Yeah? Yep. Now what? Push your legs out. Oh, you ain't got that much leg strength. Oh. Yeah, there you go. close this vlog out but something was brought to my attention today and I kind of want to speak on it and I didn't want to speak on it on my other channel of course some of it will trickle down and somebody will watch this and somebody will say something and you know I try to be a positive light and especially in my community with um you know, Bath and Body Works and fragrance and candles and all that stuff. Because that's my happy place when I was in the most depressing points of my life. You know, that made me happy. And I guess it's brought to my attention that, um, you know, a set of videos that I started doing, that I pay homage to the people that have done it before me in... I'm getting accused, I guess, of copying. And I just think it's crazy because I paid homage to these people over and over and over and over. I have over 20 videos where I paid homage of how cool this is that you're doing this. This is super cool. Hey, y'all, check out this person. They're doing this. This is super cool. And I was like, one day I was like, you know, I'm going to go in here. Y'all, y'all convinced me. I'm doing it. I'm going to film in here. Let's go. And I started doing it. And now it's copying. And it's crazy because we all do the same videos. We all do the same hauls. We do the same walkthroughs. We all do the same thing. Like, it's just like beauty videos, just like the candle community. We all do the same thing. How many semi-annual sale videos have you seen? How many walkthrough videos have you seen? We all do the same thing. But I just think it's crazy that you can pay homage to people over and over and over and over and over again. And it's never good enough. You could, you can help build other channels because you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart because you think these people are dope as hell. And you just think they're the coolest people. And then it's you You thought that was super cool. And then you start going and you're like, wow, these candles are really good. So you're like, hey, let me tell my subscribers about it too. And when I started doing the videos, I did say, you know, these people, you know, y'all got me up in this store. Now I'm up in here. And I talk about them all the time on Candle News Network, always spitting their name and giving positivity. And for some negative to be come out of it instead of saying, wow, you know, a lot of growth has coming out of it. You know, we're even getting pushback, you know, and getting subscribers and kickback from being mentioned about it. It turned into this is copying. How I don't understand how doing the same thing that everybody else does is copying when it's the same videos. You paid homage and now you think it's real cool and you want to put your spin on it and you want to do it too because it's cool. You made something a trend. You helped make something trendy. Now the masses know about it because it's so trendy. Like you're a trendsetter. What is wrong with that? And I think people get misconstrued on what is copying and what is setting a trend so everybody can put their own spin and do their own thing with it because everybody doesn't like the same thing. And it's just like with Bath and Body Works videos. I've been doing those videos, what, like 10 years. I never said, well, oh man, you talk about all the sales too, you're copying. Because it's just videos, everybody can do what they want. It's, at the end of the day, we all do the same thing. We just all put our own spins on it and turn the wheel the way we want to turn the wheel. And it kind of hurt my feelings to hear that because I'm like, wow, the people I'm always uplifting had, you know, said something negative about me when I'm always uplifting you and talking about, hey, this is a cool thing you introduced. And 
It just sometimes amazes me want to get my feelings when people talk negative about me, like, forget it, I'm just not going to help others. But at the end of the day, I know I'm a helpful person. I'm going to continue to help others. And it's so many snakes in the grass, especially in the community of fragrance, that they'll sit up there and they'll comment under your videos and try to be your friend and then say um, just these underhanded, backhanded comments like and think you don't catch it. But since you are mature and you don't let that affect you, you keep it pushing, but it's like, I, I, I see your comment. I see your backhanded comment you said, but I'm not going to respond to that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to feed on what you're looking for. I'm not going to do it because that's what you want. Like you want me to feed on that and I'm not, I do YouTube for fun. It's not my job. It's not my full-time income. I have a full-time income. I have a good job. I was blessed with that. And I thank God every day for my good job. So I don't do it for the funds. And just to hear like backhanded comments and then be in other people's comments to stir up drama about me. If you don't like me, just say that. Like you don't got to pretend that you like me when you don't like me. And it's okay because one thing I learned being in YouTube for 10 years, everybody ain't going to like you. You could be the nicest person in the world. But everybody's not going to like you. I don't care how nice you are to them. You could do everything, bend over backwards for them. They don't like you. They don't like you. Okay. And there's a lot of people that don't like me. I ain't never did. Not, I don't know these people. I never met these people a day in my life and they just don't like me. Maybe because I'm too positive. Maybe because I have things they don't have. Maybe I have access to things they don't have. Who knows the reason why they don't like me? They don't like me, okay? And then they'll, they'll pretend that they like me. And you know what? I continue to bring positive energy, even to those people that pretend that they like me, but they don't. You know what I mean? So, you know, that kind of hurt my feelings. Cause I was like, yo, I genuinely ride with you. I genuinely am always, always shouting out, always giving props, always giving praise. Now it's a problem because I found the video interesting. And now I do the video too because I wanted to bring my spin to my subscribers of, hey, this is what I like from this store. I didn't think that was a problem. And it's like every, we have so many things going on in the world that's major. Something about, oh my God, you're going to a store I go to and talking about candles is a problem. My haul videos are always the same. I go, I talk to you in the car, I go in the store. And I come out the store with what I got and I talk about it. My whole video style has been the same for 10 years. Now I introduced another store, actually a couple stores. I've been trying out different, like going to Walmarts, going to Targets and, and expanding to all the Marshalls, Rosses and all that. Like, and to see the negativity from why, when you have already been paved the way that in giving your props and your flowers, You've been giving your flowers over and over and over again for me. Like, I can't shout out the same people in every video. Like, I can't, I'm, and I'm not going to do that. But if someone gave you your flowers, and they gave you your flowers before, and kept giving you flowers and keep talking positive about you, why be negative to them? Like, like did you not forget that I'm the same person that kept saying your name, like kept being positive about you. What's the problem? Like, it's not even that serious. And I think that's one thing I don't like about the community is the cattiness. It's like, it's not that serious. This is candles, body care, and what, what else? Like, that's it. <laughs> it's not that serious. So to see all this cattiness and one thing, I know a lot of my subscribers want to defend me, but I never condone y'all defending me doing things that are wrong. Like, no, like we don't bully. We don't be hateful to others. I don't condone that kind of behavior. I don't. If somebody don't like Tina, that's cool. But we don't go over to their page and be negative or send hateful things to them because they don't like Tina. 
or they disagree with Tina or they feel Tina did something to them. No, we don't do that. Because at the end of the day, Tina know where her heart is and Tina knows she paid homage over and over and over again. And I have the YouTube videos to prove the homage that I paid. So please, I want to end the video just to say this. Do not try to defend Tina. <laughs> Because y'all know I'm not going to defend me unless it's something I really need to defend myself for. I'm not going to. And things of, uh, of videos like on YouTube, that's not worth defending myself for. I Because I know what I bring to the table and I know what I give. And I give a lot more to the community than I guess so-called take. I give way more than that. And I have paid my homages. And I have paid you know, my thank yous and I give my thank yous out on a daily basis and I have the videos to back it up. So please don't be on the platforms like bullying others because it, it makes me look bad because these people could be thinking it's me and I know it ain't me. I got an autistic son that takes up the majority of my time. I'm back and forth at the school with fighting with my son at the school. I got a daughter that commands attention. I got ADHD that I have to give attention to. I got a teenager that I'm trying to focus on getting him into his physical shape that he's trying to be in so he can do sports. I got a full-time job where I'm a lead that I put in more hours than I can even bear to do, you know, and it's our busy season. My life is jam-packed. I don't got time to be hateful to nobody. Nobody. And I don't need y'all being hateful to others either on my behalf because it's not that serious. If people want to get upset and in their feelings, let people be upset and in their feelings. They earn that right. It's their feelings. And if anybody thought I've hurt their feelings or took from them, I can guarantee you I have paid you homage. And I have the video proof of the homage. And I can go back to video to video to video to video to video where I paid you homage. But I refuse to sit up there and say any video ideals that are done on YouTube which all these video ideals are redundant and we all have done them. We've all done the same videos and say, you know, I'm going to tell every video, hey, this person started it. I don't know who started it, but I know I caught it from you. And I, I kept telling people, oh, this is so cool. I want to do this because she does it. And then, hey, I'm going to do it because I think it's cool because she does it. Hey, check this person out. She does this type of video. And I'm going to continue to pay homage to people that I get ideas from or I see pictures from or, you know, that post something because that's what I do. I never for once say, this is my ideal. This is came from Tina, straight from Tina. Only thing came straight from Tina was Candle News Network. And the reason why I got that ideal, because I thought it was so cool that everybody talks about celebrity gossip. Let's talk about fragrance news. That's the only deal. And somebody probably already did that before. You know, it's probably not even original, but it was original to me and nobody else was doing it. And it was a way for me to give other people props and to help other channels grow and to help other YouTubers grow and Instagrammers grow and see the community grow as a whole. And that's all I'm after in my community is to see the community grow as a whole. So please, let's keep it light. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it what it is. It's supposed to be a break from our normal lives. Life is, life is stressful. We got wars going on. We got all kinds of stuff. Let's not start wars in our community because I, I can guarantee you I'm not going to start no arguments about no YouTube videos because it's never been that serious in my life. I just want to just be happy like in my space and going to these stores make me happy and spending five dollars here or ten dollars here that makes me happy and that's what i want to continue to do so if to the person that thinks that i may have hurt them in any kind of way i, I will even apologize if you felt like for any reason that tina marie didn't give you your flowers i will apologize to you but I can tell you, I have multiple videos to show you that your flowers have been given over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you know that. 
So I don't know what many people want to put a negative taste of meat in their mouth, but I just wanted to clear that up and end my video with that because it makes me feel some type of way when I know I do what's good. I'm part of the greater good that wants to build people up. Like, that's all I do is try to build everybody up. So, I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog out. I'm about to go to bed. I'm confused. I didn't even know my name was in some mess. I didn't even know anybody felt some type of way about me. Especially if not about no YouTube videos. Like, there's so many other reasons not to like me. But some YouTube videos, like... It hurts, it hurts, and the reason why it hurts is because it's people I'm always backing and supporting and gushing over all the time and talking positive on that that had the problem. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to be, like, salty about it, but, it, man, that really hurt my heart when I seen that, man. I'm about to cry. Let me stop. <laughs> but it really... It really hurt my heart to hear that and see that because I was like, dang, I really be rooting for y'all and y'all just, wow, that's crazy. But I'm going to end this vlog out. Weekend vlog coming soon. And I think I, I kind of just want to stick to my vlog just see so God to hold my tongue right there. No, I ain't going to stick to this channel. I'm going to do both. But, man, I ain't gonna cap. My feelings is really hurt right now. 